This is a tremendous time to be an officer in the United States Coast Guard. The Coast Guard has been protecting America's maritime interests since 1790. And today, our multi-mission service is more important than ever. Our flexibility allows us to carry out economic, environmental, humanitarian, and homeland security missions while serving as an integral part of national security. As you can imagine, life as a Coast Guard officer is extremely demanding. Here at the Academy, we must help you develop the professional military skills you'll need to meet those demands. The American public will place a special trust and confidence in your integrity, vigilance, dedication, and good character. As a cadet, you're already recognized as one of the nation's best and brightest young people, on track to be a commissioned officer in the United States Coast Guard. We're here to help you achieve that goal and become a leader of character serving your nation and humanity. The Coast Guard Academy is one of the smallest of the five federal service academies. Despite our size, we're proud of the role we play in developing leaders of character. Ready to immediately assume the role of a junior officer after graduation, your success here and in the fleet is directly connected to your daily commitment to the Coast Guard's core values. Honor, respect, and devotion to duty. All of us try to live these every day of our lives. The leaders of character, honor, respect, devotion to duty, those are the the values that we want each cadet to internalize within themselves before we can give our stamp of approval. So when we say a leader, that's a leader who holds him or herself with honor, respects those that they work for, they work with, and that they serve, and that they're devoted to the duty and the mission of the United States Coast Guard. A leader of character is somebody who takes care of their people, first and foremost. That's, that's the most important thing. To ensure your readiness, the Coast Guard Academy is committed to your professional development. It begins with your very first day, called our day, or reporting in day. Welcome to the United States Coast Guard Academy. For some of you, this is gonna be your new home for the next four years. A lot of people don't get that we are a military service. We are. Any doubt will go away the first day of our day. You will not look too right. You will walk in straight line in the military manner. We're Swap Summer Cadre, which is where we're taking the incoming recruits for the class of 2013 and basically putting them through military indoctrination for seven weeks to prepare them to be Coast Guard cadets here at the Academy. We are letting them know what this is what the Coast Guard is and what we think. And in order to be a part of the Coast Guard, this is what you know you have to understand, you have to realize about us. It's a professional training environment, and we let them know that, that it's strictly professional and nothing's personal, and that they have no reason to feel unsafe at any time here. When we say they have a four-year program here, that's a full four-year program. They get jam-packed with, with a lot of great opportunities. Uh, so when they do go out to the field, they probably have more things in their sea bag, more, more knowledge and experiences than they really even realize that they do. There's no doubt that concepts of leadership and being an officer can be taught, but the practice of leadership must be experienced. This practice begins in a cadet's second year at the academy when, as third-class cadets, they transition into entry-level leadership roles, mentoring fourth-class cadets and beginning to internalize leadership principles and what being an officer is all about. Then, during second class summer, the summer between sophomore and junior year, professional development really kicks into high gear, beginning with the Cross the Equator event, a unique experience that brings company commanders from the USCG Training Center in Cape May to the academy to mentor cadets. Then it continues on into opportunities like the Coastal Sail Training Program, where cadets are exposed to leading others within their own class. And the most valuable week and a half I've had as far as training to become an officer is concerned. Probably the best summer training program that I got to do out of all of them. And then Cadre, where second class cadets supervise and train incoming fourth class cadets during SWAB summer. It's a defining experience for all concerned. It was crazy, I couldn't sleep. I felt like it was Christmas. <laughs> like I was so excited just to get my swabs and just know that I was gonna be responsible for this group of people and just the transformation that they were gonna go through was unlike anything else 
anywhere you could go in any other college or in America. Coast Guard Academy cadets can also count on meaningful summer internships. During their first class summer, between junior and senior year, they can spend up to 10 weeks at sea, assuming a number of the responsibilities and privileges of a junior officer. It's the ultimate on-the-job training experience. The summer I was on the Coast Guard Cutter Sherman, which is a 378 out of Alameda. I uh, caught it down in Panama City, Panama, and then we motored up to Alameda for the first half. Second half, I, uh, I was in an internship in Washington, D.C. Amazing internship opportunities that range from assignment to Coast Guard units to rewarding work in government agencies, bridging the gap between classroom learning and future careers. I interned for five weeks at the, uh, the uh, Defense Intelligence Agency and uh, just being able to work uh, counterintelligence with the, uh, with the group down there. It's quite an experience and then uh, from there I, I left, took a straight shot down to Puerto Rico and met my ship and uh, we did some counter, counter drug patrols down the Caribbean. Prior cadets have interned with the American Embassy in Panama, NASA, even the White House. An unparalleled at sea professional development assignment is the summer experience on board the Coast Guard Cutter Eagle, America's tall ship. On Eagle, all third class cadets put into practice the navigation, engineering, and ship handling theory they learned on campus. But most importantly, they continue their professional military development, fine tuning the skills they'll need when they graduate as officers in the Coast Guard. You want to teach them the traditions of their profession, which uh, what better way to teach the professions of going to sea than on a sailing ship? You need to teach a professional entry-level skills. Seamanship is our entry-level skill as a, a maritime officer. In order to be a career public servant, I think you have to have depth of character, and I think this whole Eagle experience uh, creates that. We're public stewards. And to hold that public trust, you need, to, you need to lead through ethics and make sure that what you're doing is a responsible thing. The immersion in these training opportunities is critical to the operational realities of the Coast Guard. On the fastest track to command in the military, academy graduates can be in charge of their own cutter just two years after graduation. Very quickly, a, a cadet, then an ensign, then a lieutenant JG can have command of a the Coast Guard Cutter, command of a boarding team on, on drug vessels, on possible homeland terrorist vessels. At 24 years old, I was in charge of an 87-foot patrol boat and 11 enlisted crew members. It's clear that the Academy places a special emphasis on leadership, integrating it throughout the three cornerstones. It should then come as no surprise that the Academy is the center for leadership for the entire Coast Guard. Every officer who is commissioned in the Coast Guard uh, comes through uh, some program that is put on by the, by the Coast Guard Academy. We're the Home and Leadership Development Center. We just created an institute for leadership dedicated to not only doing leadership research, but also uh, dedicated to improving leadership, not only among our cadets, uh, but among uh, the entire officer corps. And Officer Candidate School is, uh, is here. As a cadet, and then later as an officer, you'll be tested physically, mentally, and emotionally. While the demands are many, the rewards are immeasurable. You'll save lives, keep drugs off the street, protect the environment, and keep America safe. In the process, you'll forever impact the men and women you lead in the field. You will have the experiences and opportunities of a lifetime. We're here to make sure you're always ready to make a difference for our nation.